Let's now talk matters health and a disease hardly talked about is infecting up to 4,000 Kenyans every year. Kalaza, one of the neglected tropical diseases, is the second biggest parasitic killer in the world after malaria. The disease is caused by sand flies and is prevalent in arid and semi-arid areas. Our health reporter, Sharon Mumanyi, has just returned from Turkana County, one of the areas where Kalaza is prevalent and highlights the dangers of the neglected disease. Six-year-old Malik Nayana is brought to the Namoropoth Health Center in Loima, Turkana County by his father. It is their second visit after months of incessant illness. It was unknown to the family what exactly ailed Malik and only when they visited the clinic on their third month is when they knew that he suffers Kala Azar, a neglected tropical disease known by the Turkanas as a teat. When this boy came to this facility three days ago, we diagnosed him of Kalaza through a laboratory test. At the same time, we diagnosed him of severe anemia. Kala Azar is a parasitic disease caused by a parasite known as Leishmania. The parasite is spread to humans through the bite of infected female sandflies. It attacks the immune system and is almost always fatal if not treated. The symptoms of the disease are much like those of malaria, including prolonged fever and weakness. The most defining symptoms of Kala Azar is the enlargement of the spleen, weight loss and anemia. The incubation period eh? It will not be immediate. When you are bitten by a sandfly, it will take some months, two to six, for you to show signs and symptoms. Eh? The largely arid and semi-arid northern parts of Kenya, including Baringo, West Pokot, some parts of Wajir and Turkana counties, are the most affected, with up to 4,000 Kenyans infected with the disease every year. An anthill such as this is a common feature here in Loima subdivision in Turkana County and some dormant anthills harbor sandflies which are the causes of Kalaza. But what is shocking is that some residents who suffer the disease do not know what the disease is and what in fact causes it. You find that children under five years mostly they go there and Play. They like jumping up and down over those hills, eh? over those ant hills. Again, to young adults, they are the people who are being sent outside there to go and raise this livestock. So when they are out there, that's where they are being bitten by these sand flies. Eh? Treatment of Kala Azar is an expensive affair. A drug known as Pentostam is used over a period of 30 days. A regular adult would use up to three bottles, each costing about 12,000 shillings. Luckily, the Ministry of Health through the county governments provides the drugs free of charge. Pentostam, eh? it can be used singly or in combination with another drug called paramomycin. Eh? So when Pentostam is used, alone. It is given as a daily injection dose for 30 days. But when it is given in combination with promomycin, we give it for 17 days. So in Turkana County as at now, we are using pentostam alone, which we give for 30 days. A big impediment to the treatment of Kala Azar here in Loima is that the patients are brought to hospital as a last resort. The traditional method of treating a teeth is by making cuts on the body. In 2012, the then Ministry of Public Health in Kenya released revised guidelines for health workers in the diagnosis and management of Kala Azar that included use of improved treatment and diagnostic techniques. Shalmomani, KTN News, Loima, Turkana County.